Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is the file reading section of file input output. And what I have here is I already pre-wrote a program that's going to prompt the user for a path to a file. The user is going to type in the path to a file, and all that it's going to do is just going to print out the path to the file. So just do file new project and call it read file. Insert a source file, call it main.cs, and then add this code right here. So if I do, if I come down here to my debug folder where I have this output file, and if I click here on the address bar, it's going to highlight the entire path. I can right click on it and copy it. And then what I can do is I can run my program. It's going to ask me where the file path is. Control or right click and paste. There's that. And I could do backslash, what is it, output dot txt and all that I have it doing right now is just printing that out to the screen to me but what we're gonna do is we're gonna have that input to a function that's going to read the file so erase that and we're gonna do a stream reader and just call it r and that's gonna equal file dot open text and then inside here we're gonna have the path Okay, so actually I picked the complete wrong place for this. Grab this, control X, and we're going to grab that down here where path is declared. So it's going to open the path file. So I can do up here, copy this, and it's output file.txt, run the program, right click, paste, and then we'll call it, we'll do backslash output file.txt and the program runs okay so now what we have to do is we have to print out to the screen what what what's in the file so we're gonna do we're gonna create a string data type string and we're going to call this string input and set it equal to null in the beginning and then we'll do a, a while loop while input equals R dot read line function while it does not equal null run this loop so while there is information in the file keep running through this loop and then we're going to print the input variable on each line so control F5 and we have errors let's see where we have this we're missing a parenthesis here. I'm sorry about that. Control F5. And apparently we're missing more than that. All right, let's debug this. Bool to string. So let's. Um... Okay, why don't we erase this input equals and run that? Let's see what happens now. Okay, the program actually executes. So I'm going to try this. And I apologize for messing around here. Let's get rid of this input variable. And right here where it says input instead, let's do r.readline. Let, let's see if this works. I don't even know if this is going to work. Control F5. Copy the path. Okay, so now that we have this program running, we'll do right click, paste, backslash, output, file.txt. There we go. And look, it prints that file out to the screen. Load this into an array sort it and then output it to another file the sorted numbers output that to another file so have fun coding this one we'll see you in the next one